Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Many beginner paracord crafters often wonder how to set up their first paracord bracelet. So in this video, we're going to go over how to set up both a two-strand and a four-strand paracord bracelet core. Let's dive in. So I'm going to be showing you how to set these up on a jig. If you don't have a jig, that's not a problem. It just keeps things nice and organized and tight while you're setting up the bracelet, but it can definitely be done without that. Apart from that, you just need a couple paracord colors. I'm using a 3 8 inch paracord buckle for the two strand and a 5 8 paracord buckle for the four strand. We'll start with the two. So to start off, go ahead and clip your buckle into the jig. Most beginner weaves require about 10 feet of paracord until you get into the wider ones, they require more. I'm gonna find the ends of my paracord and line those up. And you can trace that back to find the middle. And then we're gonna be sticking the middle of the paracord down through the paracord buckle. I'm gonna start with the teeth end of the buckle because it's easier to fit the double paracord through. Once you do that, take your ends and put them through that loop that you just put through the buckle. Pull all your slack through and cinch that down. That's called a cow's hitch or a lark's head. Then going to the other side, you want to get your cord not crossed over itself so that they're both parallel all the way down and then put both ends down through that other end of the buckle and pull them through. Once you thread the cord through the top buckle, you want to check to make sure your bracelet is the right size. I'm on a jig, so I've measured it out to 8 inches, and that's 1 inch longer than my wrist measurement of 7 inches. If you're not using a jig, you'll probably want to do your first knot, just to hold the cord in place and then double check your measurements with a ruler. To measure your bracelet, you want to measure from where the buckle meets the other buckle here on my jig, or if it's off, you don't want to count the teeth, and then you count to the end of the other end of the buckle. So we've got our eight inches there. Now our two strand core is all ready to start our paracord weave. This setup is great for beginner weaves like the Cobra and the Fishtail, and a little bit more advanced weaves like the Shark Jawbone. Now let's move on to the four strand core. For the four strand core setup, I've gone ahead and switched out the 3 8 inch buckle for a 5 8 inch. Our measurements are going to be a little bit off because it was designed for the smaller buckle. So we'll just want to take our ruler and readjust our jig. Once you've got the jig to the right length, go ahead and clip your 5 8 inch buckle into there. Then like before, you're going to want to find the ends of your paracord and trace that back to the middle. And we'll feed that through one end of the buckle, going down through the top. To make that cow's hitch, put your ends through the loop and pull that through. And then cinch that down. So, so far that's been the same as a two strand. Now it gets a little bit different. We'll separate our cords here so that we don't get them confused. Starting with the left side, you put the cord down through the buckle, and then you want to keep it to the right side, and then bring it over the top of your core strand. What we're doing here is making another cow's hitch, we just have to make it with an end instead of with a loop. Now find your end, and bring it up through the buckle to the left of the first cord. Cinch your loop down and then feed the end once more through the loop and then tighten that down pulling on this end. And there's the cow stitch. 
Now I've got a little bit of slack here, so I need to feed the end through to keep that tight so that my bracelet doesn't end up too big. Now we'll do the same with the right side. Down through the top, coming up in the middle, over the top of that cord, up through the bottom. At this point, it's a little bit harder to pull through because you've got four cords. Leave a little bit of a loop there for us to feed our end through. Tighten that down and make sure your core strands are tight again. All right, so now we're going to flip our jig around one more time. And separate your cords again into left and right. And then once more, we're going to bring the end of a cord down through the top of the buckle. And the same with the other side. Pull those tight and our four strand core is done. So that's it for the four strand setup. This one's great for weaves like the trilobite and variations of that. We'll put a link in the description if you don't know how to make that one. Again, keep in mind that if you're not using a jig, you want to double check your measurements before you start weaving so that your bracelet ends up the right size. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful, especially those of you that are just getting into paracord crafting. If you find that you like this hobby, we've got lots of videos on our channel that use both of these setups with some beginner to advanced weaves. We'll also put a link in the description to where you can buy paracord and the hardware and tools that you need to get started. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.